Howdy folks. In this video, we're going to talk a little more detail about some properties of normal distributions, which we've looked at in another video. We're going to get a little more precise about some of those percentages. So what do I mean? Let's pull up some normal distributions. So the midpoint of a normal distribution is going to be the mean. And that's the same number as the median and the mode. Right? Other types of distributions, those three can be different. In a, in a normal distribution, they're the same. Okay? 34% of all the data lie within one standard deviation above the mean. 34% lie within one standard deviation below the mean. Total of 68% of all data lie within one standard deviation. Okay? Getting a little more exact about our numbers this time. 95% of all the data lie within two standard deviations of that middle, middle point, the mean. And 99.7% lie within three standard deviations on either side of the mean. Okay? And again, normal distributions are symmetrical. Finally, there's something called the standard normal distribution. The standard normal distribution. And that's considered to be actually what's pictured here. And in all of these, it's a little hard to see these numbers, but the standard normal distribution has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So that's a, that's a 1 there. So what we're looking at is a standard normal distribution. And it's just kind of a, the simplest in a way that you can picture the numbers along the x-axis there. That would be a negative 1, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, and negative 3. All right, let's look at a couple practice problems using some of this information we just learned. Say you were told that... Say you were told that 95% of all the students in a class weighed between 80 and 126 pounds and that the distribution of the weights of the students was a normal distribution and you were asked what's the average weight in that class so if it's a normal distribution and we're told 95 percent of the values are between two points we know those two points have to be right here and right here in other words two standard deviations above and two standard de deviations below the mean. That's just how normal distributions behave. 95% of the data is between those two. And it means that these two numbers, 80 and 126, so 80 and 126, are symmetrical around that mean or average, right? An, an average is just a mean. So all we need to do is get the average of those two numbers. This problem is that simple because we're looking for the number exactly between the two. And if we do that math, we're going to get 103. So that's the mean. All right, let's do another example. Let's say John measured his heartbeat at different times over the course of a week, and he found out that 99.7% of all his measurements were between 60 and 100 beats per minute. Assuming that his heartbeat measurements follow a normal distribution, what would be the standard deviation of that distribution? Well, we said 99.7% of his measurements occurred between these two values. So we're looking at this situation and that's the percentage in a normal distribution that lie between uh, three deviations, three standard deviations below and three above for a total of six standard deviations. Six standard deviations. So if his highest measurement is 100 and lowest is 60, um, or those are the the outer bounds of this 99.7 range, 
we know that has to span six standard deviations. So 100 minus 60 divided by six should give us the distance of one standard deviation. So that's 40 over six, which comes out to 6.67. Okay, hope you learned some stuff from that video, and I'll see you in the next one.